Hello, Jayshoran here, bringing you another game of Smite. This is from a while ago. Uh, I was going to get you uh, some games of Smite, but uh, I was playing uh, with my friend Portalcraft. So here it is. I am on spectator mode because this game was actually recorded. As I said before, it's hard for me to get you games with uh, when I play with my friends because it lags up uh, the thing if I want to talk to them while I play. Don't ask. So regardless, I do have this game to show you. I am on my main account, because uh, Photocraft's level 30 on Smite, which is the max level. We were grinding out uh, mastery levels. So, he's Fenrir. He's pretty good at Fenrir. He wants to get really, really good. I, I think he's pretty awesome. And then, as you can see, I'm Hades, and Hades is my, he's my main god. And I have the Soul Taker skin, as you can see. Portalcraft has no skin. So we're at speed buff. We're just gonna take this. So yeah, as you can see, this game, I'm just, I'm just literally spectating. So I'll just say things as they happen. And what I was saying. So here we go, I'm just seeing this. I was trying different tank builds. Later, Portalcraft told me a good one, and I started using that. So at the moment, I just got rank 2 reinforced boots, rank 1 meds. Now I know you go, uh, I'm recalling, that's a bad idea. So I, I could have helped Portalcraft with cooldown if I had Hand of the Gods. So what you would do is you'd go mark the Vanguard, Hand of the Gods. I find Meditation is good, and uh, you got five health potions. So yeah, this part I was I was wondering what Portalcraft was doing, because I, I just saw the two enemies on the map, and then I just saw him back off. But here they are. I should be coming. But there I am. I'm not going to go to everyone else's kills, because you wouldn't actually be seeing them. I'm just going to show you what I was doing. If I were to, like, actually spectate, I'd go to every lane, but... Yes, yeah, so I'm over here. So, as you can see, we're up against Thor and Arachne. I personally have a lot of issues with Arachne. I am... She creeps me out. Like, and she's hard for, to go up against when you play Hades. And Thor is just a problem as is. I believe here I asked Portalcraft what he was doing, and he wasn't really sure. No, it, it was this part. Or it was both. No, it was there. I, I was like, dude, what are you doing? And he's like, I don't know, I was thinking the same thing. So you have it. Yeah, the enemies are, or at least Arachne's over there. I'll admit, I didn't even notice. I literally did not notice. That was bad of me. I, I should have... No, it's okay, because uh, I think here uh, Portalcraft finds Arachne. Yeah, he does. There we go. Got some some action in the jungle, and we've got some action in the lane. Here we go. Yeah, here I recall Thor was going in, because I, I saw Arachne was weak, so I tried to... I don't know why I didn't hit my two. Yeah, here comes Portalcraft. Takes down the Arachne. And jumps out because he's that awesome. I'm just gonna rotate here. Okay, here we go. So the Thor is alone in the lane. Out of mana. I am not out of mana. I tricked him. There we go, yep, silencing him in the three. That's one of the advantages of playing Hades against Thor. You can silence him in his three, because his his spinning thing, that does huge damage. I didn't follow up here. And then I and then I saw Arachne and I got scared. I'm just gonna get to a better angle. Portal Craft should be coming back soon.
Yep, there's Portal Craft. Yeah, literally here he said, Believe, trust me, go in, alt. I was scared. I thought Arachne was going to use her two on me. But, uh, nope. Portal Craft's always got my back. And here we had no bloody clue. So, that didn't, that didn't completely count. We had no clue that Thor was coming. And besides, even if he hadn't, I was dead anyways. I was asking for it. Switch the view. So here's Portalcraft. Walking around. Walking around, looking stylish. Okay, here he goes in. Dealing a lot more damage to Thor. Taking a lot more damage. Here comes Arachne. Makes it out. Yep, misses the ult. I think she ulted a little early there. Is Portalcraft staying, or...? I think he's staying. Yeah, yeah, he was waiting for me. Yeah, Thor's almost half health. Well, he's like two-thirds of his health, two-thirds of his mana. Arachne's pretty close to full. Not mana-wise. Okay, so here, here we are. They're going elsewhere. I called enemy missing. Portalcraft just farming. Getting his nice life steal. I didn't basic attack because I knew he wanted the life steal off them, so he didn't have to recall. Just because I wanted him to stay in the lane. But I know when when he gets fed, there's no stopping him. He's he's pretty good at there. Like within the same day, there were a couple games where he went like 14-1, 12-2, stuff like that. And then there was there were one or two games after Portalcraft finally told me of a build he wanted me to try as Hades, where it was just like I went like 2-0. Accidental. Mind you, it was it was an accident. I didn't mean to take Portal's kills, but uh But then like I I was literally in lane, I didn't have to recall. By the time I went back, I had like four thousand gold. Yeah, the other team's ISIS is really getting dunked. Okay, here comes Thor, and he comes in on me. And Portalcraft's always got my back. And here I ulted. That was some bad communication, though, because if you saw Portalcraft did run, I did tell him go in, and he did shout no, but it was too late. I, I had already hit the button. Oh, he didn't get a kill there. That was a lack of communication. When you're in a side lane, it's good to have a lot of communication. As you've seen in some of my previous episodes, to an extent... A minor extent? I'm not really sure. So anyways, bad communication. Portalcraft has to hold the line. Quite a bit of archers. Arachne probably has her ult. Keep in mind, she does have blue buff. So, she probably has everything up and is ready to use every ability. Portalcraft goes in anyways. Gets ulted. Oh, ults Arachne into the tower. Portalcraft going down. Takes Arachne with him. I should be coming back soon. Yep, here I am. Coming around the corner. The Thor is here. I thought I'd surprise him. Because I love doing that. Hit the full combo. That's where I won three basic attack two. Thor coming in. Me. Just lighting some minions. I, I got mad that he was recalling. I didn't really think that through to the point of which he was still going to recall, and so I tried to fight him. Sure, he's low, but he'll win. Because, yeah, if you see, I have rank 2 all of Absolution. I don't have rank 3 or anything. So here we are, Portalcraft's back. I did tell him that Thor was leaving. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't do anything about that, so we didn't really have a gank. Rackney went down. I I think I told I told Portal. He's like, oh thank goodness. Now I don't have to worry about her. Okay, so here comes Thor, he's back. He's got two levels on Portal, one level on me. Level ten. However, our team's doing pretty good. Our Isis is level eleven, Ymir's level ten. The other team, Thor and our level ten. Okay, so here we go. Hitting that silence again.
or was taunting. We feel left out, so we taunt him. And Arachne's coming. We figured she was coming soon. So Portal goes in. And here comes Arachne. And Portal's back in. He jumps. Unfortunately, he does go down. That was my fault, and that was a terrible ult. That was very bad. We weren't as prepared for that fight as we should have been. We figured Arachne was coming back, we just didn't decide in advance what we would do. So yeah, there. I get drained, life stolen, if you will. So I go back in hoping to get something. I didn't get anything. Had I saved the ult? I basically would have done very well. But however, Arachne probably would have saved her drain life for when I use my ultimate ability. So, I can't really say that uh, I would have killed her because she may not have gone in if that was the case. So here comes Portalcraft again, as you can see. He goes deep. Ults. Keeps going. I was late. Don't ask. I wasn't even going to scale that. So we go around because we, we want to play a nice little game of Ring Around the Rosie. So here come our minions. Oh, right. We decided to take their blue. I forget. I forgot that. So here we are. We're just taking blue. I'll leave it to Portal just so he doesn't have to recall. Plus I have meditation. So here we are. We're back again. I go for the archers and I decide to play Ring Around the Rosie once again. So I go around full circle. Probably wasn't the greatest of ideas. I should have tanked that for Portal. So here we go, Arachne's back. There we are, here we are, we're backing off. Portal's getting ready. Rackney staying back. Looks like just off the mini map that Thor is coming back to the lane. So pretty soon it'll be a 2v2. Yeah, you can see. You can see his red image. I'll assume he comes around an ult. He comes around and hits his ult. Yep, there's the ult. And he comes down. So, there we go. That's ulted. And literally right now, Portal is like, that would be a great time for you to ult. And I'm like, oh, it was? So yeah, I accidentally got the kill. So Portal and I go in. I meant to stop basic attacking. I was literally shouting out, oh my god, dude, I am so sorry. Portal looks at me and goes, are you kidding? I'm happy enough that I'm still alive. You got me out of there in one piece. So we were both laughing. So yeah, it appears as though Thor has started a surrender vote for his team. The other team's left. We don't, we don't have a Thor on that team. So yeah. So I'm just, just going through my lane, you know. Really nice. Taking out the tower. But that's the game. Menethor does fall due to surrender. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed that. And it's not defeat.